Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to add copyright information into your files or your designs, images within Photoshop and then how to automate it to every time you open a new file or an existing file that it will automatically input that data into your file automatically. So let's get started. My name is Daryl Wilson with DX Decor Graphics and Design, representing Sublimation and More Facebook Group. Today I'm going to show you how to add metadata into your files or your designs. So it will show copyright information and other data anywhere the photo may go on the web. Alright, open the photo that you want and then go to File file info then in here you will see description if you don't see description then if you go to this little arrow here click on it and then go down to description and then in here you will want to add in your data that you want and if you're going to automate it I would not add a document title because each file that you open the titles will be different so, what I would do is go to author and put your name or your company, and then the author title, I would put graphics designer, or you can put both, which is in the author, you can put your name and the company, and graphic designer. If you want a description, you can put that, you can do a rating of the file or the image that you have. Um, next you can add a, if you did put a description, you can put a description writer, which you can just put your name, or your company. Keywords, if you're going to automate it, I would just keep it to, like, mock-up, or just your company name. The one you mainly want to um, do would be the copyright status. If it's a new file, it will always be unknown, but it may be public domain as well. Um, what you want to do is put copyright, and then the copyright notice. Um, you need to put like the copyright symbol, which is the C with the circle around it. How you do that is you hold Alt, and then on the keypad, type in 0169 gives you the copyright symbol and then as you can see I've already made some and I want to choose this one so it would be copyright symbol and then it'll be the year then DX decor or your company name then I put reselling of this file slash design is not permitted then you can put your URL if you have a website. Then just to make sure you typed it right, you can go to click on go to URL. And that'll go to your website. Um, let's go back to Photoshop. So from here, you'll want to save this as a template. And how you do that, you'll go to this little checkbox here, which I've already made mine. But if you do export then export this as your template, just name it as the copyright symbol which is the same as before, I'll hold up down alt 0169 then put your company name then the year and then just hit save which I've already done it then click OK and then you see this little copyright symbol now on the photo 
and now we're going to automate this since you've already created the template for it so I'm going to exit the photo and then reopen it just to show you that it does work so I have the photo reopen and then how you automate it you go to view or windows I mean go to actions from here you're going to create an actions folder for your work so click on the folder I named this my company name and then just put actions I if I spell it right alright then you're going to add a action to this folder that you just created we're going to record an action the action name name it the same as before your copyright and then your company name then the year then the, it's going to go in the folder you just created and then you can put a function key and a cover which I don't do then click on record then anything from here on out you click on is going to be recorded for the action so from here as you see it's recording by this little blue I mean red red circle All right then go to file file info and now we're going to load up the template that you just created by clicking this little arrow then yours should show up here <coughs> you can clear all the existing properties and replace the template with the new keep the original or keep all of it and add in your data so I would always keep it the original metadata and then click OK and you see all your data has been entered and then click OK from here your action has been set so just click this little square to stop the action all right from here all you've done is put the data on this file so now let's automate it so that each time you open a new file or create a new file it will automatically do it in the background so click on file then script script event manager this may be unchecked so just check it and you can run a script if you wanted but we're going to run an action from the action set that you made and the action itself and then you want to change this to a new document and then add so now you've made it where whenever you open up a new document it will automatically run this action which puts the metadata in the file that you just made and then to make it where you whenever you open a file, an existing file to add that data you'll need to go to Photoshop event open document and then click add and then done so now I'm going to exit this without saving so I can show you that every time I open up a new document it automatically adds it the data in itself or whenever I create a new document in the background it automatically adds that data and you can tell by the C up here or if you go to file file info it is automatically within your file now so now if you go and save this file and you upload it onto the web what this does eh, let's save this to the desktop and just name it mug or custom mug one so let's save it there go to my desktop and custom mug one which is the one I just saved if you right click on it and go to properties 
and then go to details now your data follows the photo so anytime you upload a file online an image onto Google your data will be within that file again this is Daryl with DX Decor Graphics and Design we'll see you on the next tutorial